here we go. I'm pretty sure we've got enough energy and jams within us for everybody. Here we go, change this over. <gasps> yes! In the center, let's spread out through your toes, relax and release through your feet and your ankles. Bring your bend to your knees, tuck your hips in neutral. Let's come in that alignment through the whole body. Deep breath in. As you breathe out, fueling the muscles before you use them. Let's take another one of those deep breaths in. And carry on that breath throughout the session. There we go, let's pick up that march. Lifting and lowering through one foot and then the other. Nice, a little bit higher. Adding in the movement of arms. You can lift and lower. To the other side. Option with a little bit of a bounce if you want to. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. We're gonna change that up. We're gonna take the hip down and the hand up. Gently releasing out through the side. Through back, waist and belly. You can make that a little bit faster if you want to. So bend through your knee and raise up through your rib cage. That movement's coming from your rib cage rather than solely through the arms. Keep the shoulder blades together. Keep them slid down your back. Woo! Bring that movement all the way down to your feet. We're gonna ground ourselves in a second. Four, three, two, one. You can lift and lower through your heels. With that bend of the knees as well. Just relax your arms and your shoulders. Oh, that feels so good, doesn't it? Here we go, a bit faster. Find your own body's rhythm. <laughs> nice. We're gonna start to begin to slide the hip out to the side. Whee! How are you feeling? Right now. How are we be fe feeling before we started? Just take note of that. Perhaps noticing as your energy starts to build. figure of eight through the hip. So you got that slide diagonal. So slide diagonal, bring it round. Soften and relax your knees. That horizontal eight. If you want to, here's your option. Do that a bit faster. Anchoring through your upper half. Starting to really work into the muscles of your waist. Through your back. And of course through your belly as well. Strengthening and toning in each movement. Woo! If you'd like a deeper level auction, you bring that down with a little dip. A bend through the knee, bring it back up. 
Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend. Bend. Extend. Down low. Up high. Down low. Woo! Up high. Feel that working? Nice. Here's your option. We're going to take that movement into the upper half now. So coming into a deep, restful squat through here is active though. You're going to tuck your hips in neutral. Use your pelvic floor muscles all the way to yours, your belly button. Then with your upper half, we're going to create that figure of eight motion. Imagining we've got a vase of water in our head. You're going to slide on diagonal, twist round. Slide diagonal, twist round. Here we go. Slide, twist. Slide, twist. So the movement is coming from your waist. The shoulders and your chest just happen to come with that movement. So twist through your waist. Slide and twist. Slide and twist. If you'd like a deeper movement, a higher level option, you can bring a lunge. <laughs> Remember that bath of water on your head. Slide and twist. Slide, twist, slide, twist. Slide diagonal twist. Well done. Keep the hips in neutral. Remember to breathe. Did you forget about that? <laughs> nice deep breath. Take it all the way down into belly. Don't be afraid to expand the belly with the breath before bringing it all the way around. Here we go. Slide, twist, slide, twist. You're going to feel this literally pooling and knitting the muscles of the waist back together. So untrained, the muscles of your waist, <laughs> your belly and back, they tend to loosen like this. And this movement here, this compound movement, literally what it's doing is bringing those muscles closer back together. If you're returning to exercise after pregnancy and you've been given the okay by your medical practitioner to do so, this is a wonderful movement for knitting those muscles of the abdominals back together. Here we go. Woo! Take that to wherever feels good for you in this moment. Slide and twist. Visualize that figure of eight. Try not to spill any of the water. Hips in neutral, breathe. I know that's a lot to think about. Here we go, option. Two, three, four. <laughs> Woo! Hard to do speed, isn't it? Let's take it down into hips. You can slow it down if you want to. <laughs> you can speed it up, add a traveling step. Reverse. Woo! So now we're bringing the hip back on diagonal, bring it forwards. Can you do that at the same time as walking forward? No, that is definitely like doing that. Two, three, four, four, three, two. Try one. Two, three, four, four, three, two. Bring the hip back. Now hip back as you walk forwards or back. <laughs> if you're moving. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. Again. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. One, two, three, four, four, three, two. One, two, three, four. Nice. Shake it out, shimmy down. <laughs> My apologies. Lost you there. <laughs> shimmy. <laughs> Shimmied my way out of the sound. That shoulder shimmy. Four, three, two. We're gonna take the shimmies down now. We're gonna twist through the waist here. So make sure that you've got nice relaxed knees. Through your feet. It's absolutely okay to bring a tiny little bit of a turn out through your femur and ever so slightly point your toes 
Out warriors into V shape. That is absolutely okay. Make sure here you're active through your pelvic floor muscles so it's not here. It's tucked right under, you're here. Strong core. Are you ready? Are you ready? Woo! Here we go. <laughs> well done. Here we go, team. Shimmy down. Basic Egyptian. Into Moroccan with the twist of the waist. Other side. <laughs> Full body. Oh, that feels good, doesn't it? How's that feel? Nicer? <laughs> I can feel a little bit of shuffling starting to creep in there. <laughs> Woo! Wow. We're gonna extend through that movement, twist through the waist. Extend through that movement, twist through the waist. Nice. We're gonna take this movement now, instead of horizontal parallel with the floor, we're gonna bring it up and down. Here we go. Woo! Bend through your knee to bring the hip down towards the ground. If you're not sure of this technique, you'll find it on the belly dancing for beginners playlist on our YouTube. Here we go. Get ready. All right, so we want to really lengthen through the waist because when you lengthen and stretch through one side of the body, <laughs> the muscles on the opposing side of that pairing, what are they doing? They're strengthening and toning. Wow, how does it feel? How do you feel now? In such a short space of time. We're gonna reverse, try. Up, out, round, down. Slide up, out, round, down. Bend your knee, lift, out, round, bend. <laughs> out, round, here it comes. Lift, down, lift, down. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> Into camel. We're gonna work through abs. Here we go. So you're gonna lift up, roll down, knees bend. And your hips naturally tilt to neutral. Let's try again. You're gonna lift up, breathe. As you breathe out, you're gonna roll the movement down. Lift up, roll down. We're made of stars. How awesome is that? Here we go. Other side. Woo! I see you all here live. Wow! <laughs> Amazing energy. Annie Paulette. <laughs> Isla. Katie. Woo! Let's go, team. Here we go. You want to try that a bit faster? 
Are you ready? Here we go. If you want. Oh, that's fast. Two, three. One, two, three. Roll. One, two, three. Oh, one, two, three. Roll. One, two, three. Woo! All right, a little bit slower. Here we go. Can you do a camel <laughs> with a vertical figure of eight? Let's try. So you could get the camel going or get the vertical eight going through the hip. <laughs> Bonus points if you add the shoulder shimmy. Here we go. Wow. Turn it in a circle. That's four layers deep. <laughs> wow. Reverse camel. <laughs> and so Omi, take it back. Ooh. Here we go. One, two, three, and four. Back one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. Shoulders. Woo! Back up. Oh yes, it does. Hips, basic Egyptian. Wow. Moroccan twist to your waist. <laughs> choo choo. super badass and that is exactly how I felt. <laughs> I 
angry spinach fan, you're feeling me. <laughs> wow, thank you to everybody who is enjoying our videos on the channel, commenting and participating in our little community. My crew right here, live, woo! Let's raise our vibrations even higher. Are you ready? Here we go. Might not look like much, but this does a lot. Take it to your hips. Oh yeah. Hands on hips. Wow, have we got a little bit of space just to build on that fabulous leg and glute work we did last time? If you've got some space for that. <laughs> Give it up for the hip drop squat and Egyptian box step. So we're gonna dip down into that. You can do that without that little bounce. It's literally wide, wide, narrow, narrow. Dip down, squeeze your glute to come back up. If you want to add in that ancient Egyptian angular arm, we're using the muscles of arms, your shoulders, and your chest. Woo! Squeeze your glutes, you're using your core. Whee! <laughs> well done. Squeeze your glutes. Nice, open chest. Nice, open, bright chest. Here we go. I'm gonna change it up. Look at that, hit outwards and upwards. Make sure you got that bend through your knee. Wow. Here we go, hip drop squat. Up, squeeze your glute. Ooh. Back down. Back up. <laughs> wow. That was amazing. Well done, you. I'm gonna finish up with this combo here. Again, down, down, bring it up. Up, right side hip drop. Uh, left side. Shoulders. Two, three, four, again. One, two, up, three, four. Right hip drop. Other side. Wow, camel. Figure of eight. Reverse. That was amazing. I almost don't want to stop. <laughs> if you want more, be sure to check out our Belly Dance for Fitness playlist. Woo! <laughs> I'll see you there 
In the meantime, let's maintain our flexibility and utilize all this goodness that we did, releasing lactic acid as it builds up. If you're watching this on the catch up and you didn't subscribe yet, please feel free to do so. It's so amazing to have you here. We're gonna release out through the back of the legs. You can walk your hands forwards, bend through your knees if you'd like to, or you can extend through your legs for that gorgeous releasing stretch of hamstrings and into your glutes. Take that round to one side. Feel that increased oxygen supply to the brain, relax your neck. Bring it around to the other side, pass through center, keep the hips facing forwards, release out through the waist. Wow. Deep breath here. As you return into center, we're gonna gently unwind, bend through your knees if you didn't already. Unwinding, <laughs> one vertebrae at a time, all the way back to standing. Woo! Release your hip down to the ground as you reach upwards. In a pre-stretch, let's take the other side. Take it wide. Bring your hands behind you. Bring the shoulder blades together, slide them down your back. You can lift your gaze upwards as you bend through your knees. Take a deep breath here. Bring your hands to the back of your head and bring that into center. One last stretch here, releasing out through your waist. Uh, I'm just gonna have to censor this bit out in a second. And everybody cover your ears now. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Take it to the other side. Deep breath here. Into center. Last breath here. Oh, as you breathe out, bring your hands to your hips. In four. Three, two, one. Give me your best power hero, superhero stance. Wow! Let's take a moment to notice how you feel now. Thank you for being here.